Welcome back to Pocket Ants. Ooh, a new red ant colony. A Halloween event. A pumpkin will appear which you can collect resources from. Fill up the event bar for attracting a new special creature. Red ants and aphid farm timers reduced. Okay, so they've made things incredibly, incredibly fast. And by the way, while we were gone, we were defeated twice. But we won once, so that's nice. We got some resources too, so I've got to go out there and find the pumpkin. The Halloween pumpkin event. I do got to say that I absolutely love and adore when developers make Halloween or, or rather seasonal events. We don't see, I don't see that yet though. But one of the things I do know I need to do is update this, right? Because if I'm not mistaken, I think it's a tiger beetle. So let's go ahead and recruit everybody to me and go and capture him right off the bat. That should be the first thing. And while we're gone, let's go ahead and just uh, maximum soldiers. Well, guess what? We're not going to be, all right, boys, attack the tiger beetle because when we get a second one here, we're going to be able to combine them. We are going to be taking losses. So as they're fighting, I'm going to be recruiting more and more. As each one dies, we'll get reinforcements. Look at the mini map. There's one already on the way. He's right here. It's not that hard to do your job. Oh, God, that guy got immediately dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks, man. It, it sucks. We'll, we'll definitely capture him. So let's go ahead and look at the army. Oh, we have a tarantula. That's our first tiger beetle. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's not. We already have a tiger beetle because we, we're going to be able to fuse them together. So let's go ahead and recruit. I think we're losing ants up at the seeds, the nuts up here. So we're going to go ahead and fight the red ants. Get some pheromones for attacking that. I'm very excited for this Halloween event. But when does the pumpkin come in? That's quite a bit of soldiers there. But this is ours. You can't attack our workers with impunity we will destroy you keep fighting them keep slaying all of them better dead than red we don't like red ants at all so there's gonna be a lot of ants coming back here hey hey stop doing that kill those soldiers and then don't don't come after me tiger beetles been added to our army yeah we're gonna try fusing the tiger beetles to make a tier two but also now that we have a variety of bugs we can use them on attack and what i've been told is we don't lose them if they die on those attacks you guys were leaving a lot of really really good tips in the previous videos and I do very much appreciate it and I want you to continue to do so because I learn quite a bit. All right, so a few red ants are coming. There's only 66 left. So after dealing with this little bit of convoy, we are going to go on a, a raid of their nest, of the red nest. We'll deal with these three workers. Come on, destroy them all. I wish we had acid spitting ones like Empires of the Undergrowth. That's the PC ants game that I play over on my other channel, Baron Von Games, actually. So let us go ahead and send these guys to work so that everybody's doing their due duties, their due diligence, calling in reinforcements as we die. Oh man, we're gonna, we're definitely taking casualties for sure. But we've secured, we'll almost have, dang, wow. Only four survived that. So we lost six ants in the attack on the enemy ran, uh, red ant nest around, I guess, what would you call it? The the main door, the front gate, the hole in the ground. Be cool if there were ant lions that like you didn't see on the map. So if you didn't check and your ants were had to go get a resource across an ant lion mound, they would fall in there. Whoa, 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 don't attack me. I almost died. Jeez, I need to stay alive. I'm the commander here. Or recruit another one. It's just, I wish you could give like pheromone commands a, a little bit more than just, hey, mass around me. And if you see an ant in the radius, uh, attack him. Wow, that was like instant death that worked. Oh, he looked like he bit his head off right there. <laughs> okay, keep going. We're, we're almost there. That soldier's gonna be dealt with post haste. All right, guys, attack. I think, oh, they just go immediately after the queen, don't they? So we'll probably take a few more casualties than we needed to, but we did get some gems and some pheromones, which is definitely something we want. We're already dealt with the red ant nest. I think we'll go on a, a quick little aphid run and then we'll do some multiplayer battles and as far as what we need to upgrade like we have the max level for food processing we need a ton of everything to get everything else though all right we're getting close to the fire ants they're idle workers great we'll put them to work so let's try not to lose any of them oh nope we just lost one yeah that those weren't favorable numbers there yeah we're, we're just going in aren't we okay recruit get the reinforcements it's good to keep like one alive i think so that you can get your reinforcing ants. I should have pulled back a little hit and run action. Where do they pop out now? We're very close to the edge of the map. Wow. I wish I could attack at times. Or like, oh look, we got our reinforcements in time. That's nice. But it's it's a game of just continually to look at the mini map. Now you can only get 10 maximum aphids and we want to get all 10. We haven't been 
able to do it in the two times we've done it here in videos on the channel because it's like a mini game of like seeing where they pop out and then moving in to attack. So I got to stay centered because eventually they pop up on opposite sides. I think we just lost one, honestly. Yep, we did. I mean, I feel like I, I went as fast as I could. I think we need the upgrade where whatever it is, that'll increase the size of the army that I have with me. That way they can't just like bum rush and get one down. Here's another one. Yeah, good work. We got reinforcing soldiers here. Don't let them kill him. Here we go. Here we go. There he is. Oh, that was perfect envelopment. But he still got bites off. And at this point, it's like they're not getting in. We have all the soldiers that are around the mouth of the nest here. So it's a sweet, sweet victory for the good guys. I can even disband the army and those nine aphids will soon go into our little uh, aphid storage here on the bottom right of the screen. Now is the time to really start pumping out the soldiers so that we have maximum because we're going to go on an attack. The convoy has arrived and we have 15, but look at how much you really need. Now, obviously, with this uh, Halloween update, we'll be able to come in, you know, much sooner. Yeah, but at the moment, wait a minute, is is that a leaf or is that a pumpkin? The leaf looks different, sort of, just a little bit. But then again, it could just be like pixel art that's just a little bit off, you know, because this doesn't look like a pumpkin to me but there's two leaves out there a leaf number one resource depleted find a new one. Oh man we gotta go all the way over here yeah i'm not seeing any pumpkins man even though it said we should find them so we'll make that the new seed source so we need those nuts well i guess once the army's going maximum soldiers okay we have 50 so even though we took losses we had it on auto rebuild so that was happening while we were fighting i think it's time let's see so this is this is our army right wait don't i have everybody guarding the mouth of it why didn't that happen? a sign Creature army. Shouldn't I have more of these? Oh, here we go. Nice. This will help us a lot. So that's quite a few bugs around. Okay, assigned. Beautiful. Now we're going to go attack. Let's find a random player. We got more bugs. Our ants are at max level of 50. And we've got, let's see. Yeah, see, look, we've got the two tiger beetles, the two mantises, and a tarantula. Oh, God. Okay, so they've got a tier two tarantula. Let's get everybody out here. Everybody out. Attack. There we go. I sent him on an attack run and look at that. Immediately dead. Yeah, we, we should be able to win. Now that I know how to like bring all of my soldiers and all of my super bugs in we won't have much of an issue now my guys have green health bars hopefully the enemy has red okay i gotta stay too far away we've only lost four and we've wiped out only he's got only 14 ants left okay so this is this is the way as mando would say oh god okay they got a lot of bugs down there look at that yes it, it says they've only got 11 oh what is that a scorpion i oh god i think he i think the scorpion almost ate me but we destroyed it oh man i wish i could capture your enemy bugs help don't let them get me boys i can't even move really attack yeah dude our army's solid one of our guys is pretty low on hell so he's got a few tier one bugs in here Woo! get it get out of the way go fight okay attack everybody's sending oh the tiger beetle's holding back that's smart can i can i Oh, I can't click him and say, hey, like, don't don't fight anymore. So now it's just the queen. Wow, this is my OK. This is what the good part. This is why you want to capture more bugs. So you have an impressive army. I mean, that, that was a massive bug army versus a massive bug army. And we got three pheromones. So that's already three pheromones from a flawless victory is uh, it allows us to summon a new bug. And dusk is the time we want. So what time is it now? It's nighttime. We could try dawn, but I forgot if that one was the worst one or not. Yay. We collected 10 pheromones. Now, once again, we want to get the army back up to full mess so that we can go on another attack. Yeah, but so none of my bugs are dead. So that's great. And we just lost seven soldiers. All said and done, a very, very good multiplayer attack run. I just want the dang pumpkin. Oh, it's raining, unfortunately, right now. So we're going to have slow. Let's try to go on another attack. Do we have 50 ants yet? We have 50 soldiers. So let's find a new player. So I'm getting all my bugs out right away because oftentimes they'll defend, you know, the top part and we want everybody. That's that's basically like infantry and then tanks as far as I'm concerned. What do you have? Oh, you have you have a few ants up here. OK, whoa, don't you chase me, man. I've got I've got the Praetorian guard of all Praetorian guards here. He's got seven. 72 ants, so he's not a huge nest. I don't, I wonder how many bugs he'll have. Oh my God. Oh, I gotta stay, I gotta make sure I don't get soldiered, soldier sniped. They were all on resource duty. Look at this, look at this, it's just absolute chaos. <laughs> 
So I did lose six and we are 66% done. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture of the mini map, so I can't see if there's more ants. Oh, are they coming out? All the workers are coming out. So he's only got 14 left. Yeah, this is this is going to be an easy one. We'll get a good amount of pheromones. The tier two uh, praying mantis is just one shotting ants. Oh, so he's got a tier two tarantula, another tarantula and a tiger beetle. Hopefully I can pull this off without taking any more casualties. Oh God. Oh God. Run. There you go. Attack. Oh God. Oh, we got to make sure we don't die. If we die, we lose the attack. So it's a very risky proposition. Guys, attack. There we go. We take out the tier two. Did we lose anybody? I don't think so. And look at how just easily it goes down. If we did? No, we didn't. I see my tarantula down there too. Look at that. Another three pheromones. Beautiful. So online battles is really just like where you start scaling up. Now, how many ants did we lose? We actually lost 11. That's quite a bit. So all of my food stores I've been building up to do upgrades, I'm, I'm spending on this attack, but I'm okay with that. So I was just reading on the wiki that I think actually nighttime is a good time to try and also trying to attract the bug when it's rainy is a really good idea because there's some rare bugs out there. I don't know what they are because obviously we've seen these, although I think I have seen a bombardier beetle. But with this many ants and bugs, I feel like we could probably go on another attack. I kind of want to do it. Oh, it's it's dusk. Hold on. Get off my screen. Get off my screen. It is dusk. Okay, let's attract one. New creatures detected nearby. I think it's a tarantula, but no, it's a. it looks like a praying mantis. Dang it. We didn't want you. Oh, I guess it went to nighttime. Maybe 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 I did it too late. Wait, can I attract multiple bugs? There is a creature nearby already. Yep, you cannot do that. Okay, well, I've recruited my 10 soldiers. We're gonna go snipe ourselves a praying mantis. And then upgrading, I think it was the, uh, when you capture the bugs, their chamber. I don't wanna say the word because I feel like YouTube might be like, hey man, that's a bad word. I'm like, I know, but it's in the game. But we'll have a better, hello friend. I'm just telling my ants to attack you. Don't keep looking at me. That's scary, dude. That's scary, dude. Praying mantis is soak up a lot of damage, it seems. More so than other bugs? Ooh. Ants assemble. So I think at dusk I want to I want to attract a bug to see what happens. I just want to capture them, man. Capture. We capture everything around here. There are idle workers. Good. That means we are growing, growing strong. Now how's the army? A new praying mantis will pop up, but he's tier one. I feel like we're gonna. It's gonna be very difficult for us to. Mantis has been added to your army. Beautiful. So if we attract another one, we can fuse them into tier two. But that was the biggest battles by far that we've had. And it's exciting. Like the red ant nest is like nothing now. And in an aphid convoy raid is just kind of like an annoying thing we have to do. Okay, it's dusk. I'd say it's fully dusk right now. Oh wow, is it? Is it just? Oh, that's it. I think that's. Yeah, it looks like a tarantula. Okay, well we'll get the tarantula. I think we could fuse that into a tier two tarantula anyway. Yeah. So dusk and dawn are really short. I want to try attracting one during the rain. Go get them, boys. Good work. I'll sit here in the safe zone. I love how he gets that red exclamation mark. It's very like, this is a threat. <laughs> it is a giant spider and it will eat your face off. Did you guys ever watch that Nicolas Cage face off movie? Oh man, it was so bad, but so good. So badly good. Capture for sure. So now it's daytime again. Do we have enough to fuse one? Yeah, let's 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 attract this creature. Let's see what it is. What? I don't see it. Oh, because we didn't. There was a creature nearby. Okay, so he has to go all the way back to... That makes sense, I guess. Tarantula was added to the army, so let's fuse. Yes, we want to fuse using 15 legs. So it's like you have to eat the bugs. Failed! No, we lost one of the tarantulas. That it's biscuits and gravy and not the good kind. And I know it's like, what, what biscuits and gravy are not good. And I actually can't think of it, but I'm really hungry right now. We're going to attract one more bug and see what it is. It looks like another tarantula. So we have another chance. I wonder though, if you know, in certain games, like say idle miner, for example, you can create your mines and you're doing the same process, but you're in other like biomes or other islands, right? With, with their own challenges and concerns. I wonder if you could do that with this game. Cause right now I'll be honest, the level we're on is, is there's not a whole lot going on to it. So maybe add in some spice there. All right, guys, go attack. But like if you could go to the rainforest and you had to have different ants, but by going there, you could bring back something you learned back to your home nest. Or maybe your queen could do something a little bit different, some kind of upgrade or maybe some exotic bugs and you could transfer them back to your home nest, send out on missions. That kind of stuff, in my opinion, would greatly increase replayability. All right, we'll capture. Now, what can we upgrade while we wait for this? 350, we do have that. Honeydew chamber. I don't need honeydew chamber anytime soon. I need this one. Wow. You need you need to eat a ton of bugs. Body parts chamber. I don't even think we need that. This is probably the one we want. Nurseries and seeds. Tarantula's added to the army. All right, let's try this fuse again. Tarantula, tarantula, fuse. We must fuse him. Plus 50%. Come on, don't fail me now. Yay! 
okay. So that gives us a tier two tarantula. So let's go to battle in defense and make sure that these new guys are out here to defend the mouth of the nest. I feel like it's just so scary when you see everybody out there, right? I don't know. What's what's your best strategies? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching another episode of Pocket Ants. I'd like some more information and tips on like what are the bugs we can attract and what the best times to attract them are. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.